Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video and a new manicure. This is my attempt at, um, oh, lapis. Um, because I got the little gold, little bit of gold and some matte blue. I did matte, uh, top coat on this one just for something a little different. And... You know I love lapis, so we did that. Okay. Oh, let me take these off. I'm wearing wood today. Put them over there. All right. First thing I want to do is show you some things that I got in the mail from some of you lovelies. These are from... Um, Raven. I got this beautiful uh, like smoky. I think these are glass, but the rest of it is um, <clears throat> tourmalated quartz beads. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous thing. I'm like wearing that. And also from Raven, I got this cool bracelet. One of those, because I have a collection of these type, and I saw that one, and it was like, mm, yep, 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 okay. And also from, I got this beautiful foxy with Aurora and white. So he's cool. And we'll go in my Foxy collection. And this is from Miss Jen. And we'll also go into my Foxy collection. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. And he's very vintage -y. Very cool. And he has little green eyes. He's gorgeous. Alright, so that's my pretties for the day. And we're going to get back to this vintage box. Um, seems like I haven't been, haven't done this in a while. Okay, we still have the bag of button thingies. We're still working through to get the rest of them out of the box. And we're getting down to having lots of small things. So, let's grab a handful. There is a cute little... Thimble, if anybody collects thimbles, let's see, what's it say on it? It is a German size 8 thimble. If you are into that, I don't think it's, uh, it's not sterling, it feels like steel. So there's that. Hold on, I need to get a box to put the stuff in. that out, put this here, put that there, my card table is getting so full, I have different bins for different things, it's getting crazy, alright, put that in there, here's a dome, and a, good lord, hold on a second, shut. The door does not want to shut. Hubs coughs after he <clears throat> uses his medication. Oh, look, a fake, a fakey, um, it's a, uh, created, pretty sure that's a created one. There's no marks on the inside, so I assume that it's a lab created. 
It has one tiny little mark, and I can't see what it actually is. But that's really pretty. It has some knot work on the side. It is a size 8. So if you're a size 8, that's a really pretty one. It's got all its stones. Really nice. Got some fire in there. Look at that fire. Cool. Alrighty. We have another Monet bracelet. Textured, very nice. Brushed gold. Here's a pretty little thing. Fleur de lis. On the tag. Well, it's not really a fleur de lis, it's something. But I can't tell what. Let's see. Bars. I am unfamiliar with bars. I've heard the name, but I am not sure where it falls in the hierarchy. So. Yeah. Thailand. Oh. Thailand. Hold on a second. Is that going to be Thai silver? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It might be Vermeil. Oh, come here. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Hold up a second. Nope. It isn't. It is made in Thailand, but it is not Thai silver. Bars. I'll have to look that up because I'm I forget what bars is or if I should be excited about bars or not. This is cool. It's another one of those three strands. Oh wait, this is two strands. And it comes down to this ring. And then it's got goes through the ring. That is so cool. Let's see. Do we have a name on you anywhere? Certainly not. Not on that side. Let's see. This side. No, not on that side either. This is unmarked, but very much vintage. Um, gold tone. The only... There's a little bit of wear on the ring. But not a ton. It's a really cool little piece. And I love this kind of chain. It looks like bricks. The chain. That's what I'll call it anyway. Here's another button cover. I'll have to look on the back to see what see what these are. Wait, there's, there's a name on it. Let's see. Noni New York at N O N Y. Nony, New York. I guess. I don't know. Oh, here's another one. This one is another. This is wheat chain. Two strands of wheat chain. This one does have a tag on it. Let's see what it says. Marvella. Spring ring clasp. Double wheat chain. This one's got some wear. A little bit of wear. If you have one of those plating kits, you could probably replate it. Oh, it's so pretty. That might be a fun one. That might be a fun one to experiment on. I think I have a plating. I have that plating kit that you get on. As seen on TV. Just for... Oh, it's two different kinds of, of uh, it's wheat chain in the middle and mesh chain on the outside. And it's got these really heavy drops on the end. Very nice. Marvella. Here is an Omega chain from Monet. Very nice. 
lays nice and flat. Silver tone, very cool. Here we have some faux with no markings. These feel plastic, they're very light. They do have nice shimmer or shine though. These are a little duller, they don't, they are also plastic. Um, these are knotted and these are not. So there's some vintage pearls, vintage faux pearls I should say. Two strands, about the same length. <clears throat> All right. Teacher. Teaching. I love teaching. History. English. Math. Oh, that's adorable. Do you know any teachers that could use that? The only teacher I know is an art teacher, and he's male. I think he wouldn't mind wearing wearing that if it had paintbrushes and stuff hanging from it <laughs> Ooh, this is nice what's it say alpaca maple what's it say mexico it does not have a 925 on it it is not a 925 but it is really cool let's see it's <laughs> These are hard to do with one hand. There we go. That's pretty cool. A little big for me, though. Which is interesting, because these are usually so tiny. That's a bigger one. everywhere oh yeah we're getting down the nitty-gritty here oh here's the other one of those Jennifer there's your other birdie bird this is a fun one I think I've seen this one before how did that end up in there it's like resin woven black and little maple leaf another set of these these are named I'm gonna say Monet no these are Marvella as well these are in great shape little short little guy In perfect condition. Very strange because they're the ones that tend to wear out. Um, so, yeah, even the clasp is perfect on that. Okay, there's a little filigree earring and a little rosebud earring. And that is an earring we've seen. And, oop, there's the other one of those. So we have a pair of those. Those are pretty. With little amber colored or root beer colored stones. Cute. There's another button thingy. That's going to be fun to go through when I get through all the rest of this. Alright, we have a hoop. This one is Napier. This one is Napier. Ooh, that's pretty. Why is my computer turned on? No. I could swear that I shut it down. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Maybe I forgot to after the auction. Which isn't good. I really would rather it didn't run all the time. Because it's old. It's a very old one. My laptop. Okay. Another clippy. Alpaca. And here is one for uh, um, monogramming. It's Sarah Coventry. It's very bright gold.
You can see my whole room. Ah. Hi. <laughs> Here's the other stuff. <laughs> I'll show you stuff in this. How's that? <laughs> anyway, there's that. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, is that a pin or is that a... Mm. I think this is an earring. Ooh, Laurel Birch. Something Rose. Deco Rose is the name of this one. And it's Laurel Birch. So hopefully we'll find the other one of those. And yeah. Ooh, look at this. Multi stones, onyx, carnelian. Come on now, onyx, carnelian, tiger eye, jade, probably opal. Uh, what is that? Goldstone and whatever the white one is. I don't know. Pearl. <laughs> That's really cool, though. It's got all the different things. And it is a probably Sarah Coventry. No, I'll have to test that one. I am unsure as to what that might be. All right, we have that. Wait, no, did I do that already? Yeah. Here's a cute little bow pin from. Somebody art, it looks like. Art. Right down here. Uh, is it CA art? No, AAI, whatever that is. I don't know, do I? We have, I've gotten so many little stick pins in this bunch. There's a little rhinestone one and a little butterfly. This one is missing its protector at the end. But those are generally interchangeable. Here's one of those ones that you can take the... Wait, can you? This is strange. Okay, it goes this way. All right. One of those, and that is Napier. <clears throat> Napier, Napier, Napier. Oh, look, it's a ring, it's a bead ring that somebody made, and it's very out of round. So that would have to be pounded down on here. But as it stands, it's a an eight. But that's very strange. I think somebody it was too big for somebody and they squoze it together. Little gold bead, that's cute. There's the other Napier hoop. Little bitty shell. Thinking that's ivory. I haven't seen the other one of those yet. This is adorable. It's got freshwater pearls on it. And it says PP on it. <laughs> I am unsure as to who the PP is, but I will look it up. Oh, Paloma Picasso? That would be cool. Because she makes jewelry. And she's the only PP that I can think of. I'll have to look that up. I have to look it up. Little teeny tiny. Ooh, little teeny tiny. Vintage. Leaf. Feather. Is that a feather or a leaf? I think it's a feather because of the, the way the end is. It's a pearl. Feels like a real pearl. <clears throat> I'm 
another handful. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. Darn. Well, I grabbed another handful, so I guess we'll just have to keep going. There's a Mabe Pearl with a bunch of jewelry cancer on it. Oh, that's another one of these. It goes in the bag. Hmm. We have this and we have this. And we have to wait and find the other of each. They're cool. They're so 80s. So very 80s. That is a Japanese white button earring. There's a screw back. Looks like Napier. Yes. That's kind of cool. Scrollies. Oh, look. Little, little, little rose. It is transfer wear. As is this. They look kind of cool together, don't they? Don't know about... Don't know if I have the other one of them. Here's another... Monet earring. This is a it's just a brooch. I thought it was gonna be a pin pendant, but it isn't. Okay, let's move that out of the way because we don't want it to contaminate anything. These are little clippies that are rhinestones. Gold tone, silver tone, Napier, clip screw back, combo, ooh, is that, no, I thought it was a tiger eye, but it's like a, more like a moon glow. I don't know, is it? Hold on. No, that's Moon Glow. Moon Glow, made to look like Tiger Eye. There's a little, ooh, little earring with, oh wow, look at that. It needs tightened up. It is not marked, but it's really cool looking. Look, oh, those are neat. I kind of like those. They're both a little bit loose, but I don't think they're loose enough to drop out, really. That would be easy enough to tighten down, and they're unmarked. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. There it is. It says BSK. I know who they are. They're cool. I like those. I know somebody that bought the necklace that goes to this, so we'll put that aside for her. There's the other one of those. There's the other Laurel Birch. There's a pair of very old pearly screw backs that look like they're made of sterling. But they are unmarked. I have to test those. Diamond and amethyst ring. Whoop! Please don't be a fakey one. Be a real one. That would be awesome. If I could see. No, it is definitely not an, a real one. It's heavy gold electroplate. It says Taiwan. Which to me doesn't mean real at all. Made in Taiwan. Remember when that was the... Uh, Equivalent of made in China, cheapy cheapy. This purple thread. I don't know who it is out there that uses this purple thread for everything. But I've gotten, even when I got stuff from Jay, my guy, it had these purple, dang purple thread things on it. Anyway, this is a really nice deco earring. And it has a name upon it. Accessible craft. 
That's a nice name. Yeah, buddy. We got some really nice stuff out of this batch. I'm really, really, really happy with it. This is probably Sarah. Yes. Sarah Coventry. It's got snail chain and then this one. And then a little drop. And they are clippies. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Here's a hoop. Elongated hoop. No name. Bing. Ooh, look at that stud. Spark. Post is stainless steel, so I'm going to say not anything real. What the heck? Um, this is all kind of messed up, but I don't know what it is. It looks gold filled to me. What is that? Is that an old fashioned pin back? I can't quite figure it out. If you know what that is, let me know. There's a little teeny earring. <clears throat> Looks like a napier. Napier, napier. We're at 26. And last but certainly not least, <clears throat> this is hand stamped. Handmade by Fountain or Fontaine, whichever. Royal, Royal D side Scotland. And that, my dears, is made of pewter. And I am probably going to keep that one. Because Scotland, Scotland. All right. I think we're going to end it here. I want to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like. Boop. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp of the item in which you're interested in the comments below. Or you could send that same information to the email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please include the date of the video and the title of the video so that I can find your items. And if you have not bought from me before, please include your name, your address, your PayPal email, and your YouTube name so that I can match up your names, get your invoice out to you, and get your things in the mail to you. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself, because everyone else, they're taken. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.